How to fix WordPress 500 internal server error. Hello and welcome. Let's imagine that your WordPress site is broken and you're seeing that 500 internal server error message. Now, first of all, don't panic because all WordPress sites usually have .htaccess file created because WordPress needs this to function. Now, mine looks different, surely, but I'm going to demonstrate the simple misconfiguration in that file usually causes that dreadful error message. As you can see, if you're seeing something like this, then it's more than likely that you have a misconfiguration in .htaccess file. Now we know that one way we can see that error message and to remedy it, I just have to make sure that .htaccess file is all working perfectly. Then I should be able to recover my website. Now, for you to be able to fix that, all you have to do is log into your cPanel and locate a menu option for File Manager. Press on it and make sure you can see hidden files. And then just browse into public underscore HTML, but your server setup may call that file, uh, folder different. It could be HTML and so on. One way or another, uh, where your WordPress is installed, you'll see that .htaccess file. You can simply, you, know, you can um, view it, backup, and then delete. So then if there are other additional settings in that file, you can later on re-upload re the settings that is not causing the breakage. So let's just delete that. Yes, I am very sure. Okay. Now, once you delete that, you can go to this URL and download the default.htaccess file. Or you can simply Google default.htaccess file for WordPress. Then, all you have to do is simply upload that default.htaccess file. Now, once you do that, then everything should go back to normal. But what if that doesn't fix the issue? What if, because it can happen, because there are other reasons that uh, your server may show that error. Now, I'm going to show you another way. Now, if you tried that option and it didn't work, as in you've already followed that procedure before you watch this video, then it could be the case that there is a misconfiguration between um, encoding of your website. Encoding is, has to do with the characters. You know, if, you're, if you have an English site, you may have a German site, you may have um, a French site. So then encoding that's um, part of your WordPress site may have misconfiguration. It could be the case you uploaded some plugin and installed some plugin that is using different encoding, right? So what you want to do then, you want to make sure the um, WordPress config file, which is called wp-config.php, first of all, anytime you modify anything on WordPress, just keep a copy of it. How you can do that is you can view it, copy, paste, and then save it locally. Okay? So let me show you what that file looks like on my local computer. Okay, so once again, if you follow the previous procedure and you're still getting that 500 internal server error messages, and if your website uses different um, languages, for example, you may have a multilingual website, right? Now, if that's the case, it could be the reason that there is a mismatch between encoding and database collation and so on, right? Now, default English websites built on WordPress will use this setting. 
So then make sure that file, wh whatever the collation or encoding, is matching the language that you're using on your WordPress site. Make sense? So I've tried to explain it briefly because these can actually get very complex. Right? All you have to do is just double make sure or triple make sure that the encoding that you're using and the database collation all match together. Now you can define that setting here. You can define the encoding also database collation here in wp-config.php and then upload that to your server. So you can upload the, the modified one there or you can simply back up your um, wp-config.php file make the changes upload always back up now also for you to be able to take another glimpse at this issue you could go into your web hosting manager and locate php my admin setting it will either be under databases or you may just have a link to it all you have to do is you press on PHP my admin then it's going to show you the database that your WordPress and uh, WordPress site resides in then locate operations and then make sure this collation setting okay, matches this here if you have any if not surely you leave that default meaning Almost 99% of the times, 500 internal server error messages happens due to .hdxs file or the mismatch between encoding and database collation. That's from my experience. Make sense? So you can tweak that. Yeah, if you have a site built on German and you installed something and broke your website and you're seeing 500 internal server error messages, then make sure that you log into PHP my admin, go to operations and then select whichever encoding that is suitable. Usually this should be default. As in you shouldn't be playing around with these things. But you know if you're seeing 500 server error messages and you can't log in to your WordPress site and you want to figure out how to really fix it and HDXS option didn't work out for you, then you want to make sure that whatever um, encoding and collation you're using has to match. Also, while we're here, make sure you remember that always when you want to troubleshoot WordPress issues, what you want to do is you want to go into your plugins folder. Whichever plugin you installed last, you can simply rename that to something else. As in rename it to something else. Because then that could also fix 500 internal server error messages. Make sense? Okay. So I covered many different options for you. And I am more than certain that if you follow the procedures and insights found in this video session, you will be able to fix your WordPress site. Also, don't forget to check out the newly created member site, whereby I have some private videos which I am sure you will benefit from. I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk to you in the next video session.